Now, I read an article you wrote in the New York Review of Books about a fellow called Heidegger. Heidegger? <laughs> That's one? What the fuck kind of name is that? Oh, it was a review of a book exploring Jacques Lacan's take on Heidegger. Exactly, and that right there is what I don't understand about y'all. I mean, y'all ever, hardly ever write about a topic. I mean, you, you write about what some other fella wrote about the topic. So, so Heidegger's got some idea, and then, and then some French guy's got a, got a take on that, and then you write a review of that, and some other fella's gonna come along and on and on and on and on. You very neatly explained academia, Brady. So I, I'll write an essay for all y'all. It's just called, What the Fuck's the Point? Yeah, you know what? I think this is right about where I leave. Come on, come on, come on. Get you a tug on that. I said no. You used to do this more than I did. You couldn't get enough. I don't believe I'm doing this. This is so fucking stupid. What was the last time you did this? <sighs> Graduate school? Damn, this is gonna lay you out. <laughs> now, how many buds are you gonna smoke? It's that smooth after you ain't done it in a number of years. I've been lengthening the curing process more in the Dutch tradition, oh. and I got just the right amount of resin. Wow. Easy now, doctor. Oh! Ah! Ooh! Now we're cooking. So anyways, I seem to recall you didn't, you didn't think too much of this fellow Heidegger. What? No, he was a fucking fascist. He helped out the National Socialists. All right, but this article was about Logic and, and truth and, and how him and some other fella related to uh, analytic philosophy. What was it? Analytic philosophy. Analytic philosophy. Analytic philosophy. There was one word I didn't know. I had to look it up. Episto... Epistemology. Episto what? Epistemology. Epistemology. Bingo. Bingo. Why are we talking about this? Just solving problems. Solving problems. Like, like, when all of a sudden you get hit with the answer to a mess you've been in, and as soon as it hit you, you, you can't hardly believe you didn't think of it before. Your choice is to expand your business, or we shut you down entire. I ain't interested. He's offering you a way out. Pug wants his money. Check that pickle. And if they ain't got my money, kill those sons of... How did you get this number? Is everything all right? My brother's been murdered. Hell, that's awful. How? He got shot with a crossbow. They're inexplicably popular where I come from. I suppose I have to go home. You sure do look like him. I think that's what they mean by identical. Brady, what the hell is going on? I guess I kind of got resurrected. What? You had him tell me you were dead? Well, all right, I'm sorry about that, but there weren't no other way for me to get you to come down here. Here's the thing. If I don't get up to Tulsa, I'm gonna be in some real trouble. I need you to be me, just like we used to back at home. We don't even look alike anymore. Has that occurred to you? What do you think? You've given yourself the stupidest haircut in human history. So Bolger says you're a famous a banker. real famous. And they pay you for that? Yeah. She's a poet. I tried to get her and Colleen a three-way one, but wouldn't neither of them go for it. This here's where I keep it alive. <laughs> hey, hey. How is it possible that you are so brilliant and so ignorant at the same time? Mm, yeah, I don't think so. No? You know what you was getting into with him, and he sure ain't going away. So, now you want me to be nice. You got a higher IQ than your brother, and he just passed you by. It ain't gotta go this way. Why would you want it to look like a hate crime? Bring it on. So it don't look like a drug crime.